The roughly two-minute video starts with a white woman wearing hospital scrubs straddling a city bike, screaming for help, even though she doesn't appear to be in danger. One of the most harmful things about racism is that it has essentially made the truth controversial. <laughs> this is not your bike, repeats the young black man standing next to her who says he just rented that city bike. His friends standing around him. It's amazing to me how fast the narrative changes. I've said it before and I'm going to say it again. White women are one of the most dangerous groups in the United States and abroad. This is my bike, it's on my account. While the video doesn't show the young man touching her, it does show her remove her hospital badge, then grab the young man's phone. At this point, we've pretty much all seen the video of the city bike incident between the black guy and the white woman. The black guy claimed that he bought the bike. The white woman claimed that she bought the bike. It was a tug of war match. Why you took his phone? The woman then tells him he's hurting her fetus. When a man, also in scrubs, inquires what's wrong, the woman all of a sudden appears to begin sobbing. But notice how white people were laying in wait for some little nugget of information that was going to absolve this white woman of taking accountability for the harm that she put these boys in. When the man tells the woman to choose another bike, she calmly removes herself. Another young man recording the video can be heard saying, How you stop crying? A baby girl come out with oh, not a, not a tear came down, miss. We do not know what happened before the recording began at this city bike stand near East 30th and 1st Avenue. Whiteness is a cult. A baby girl come out with oh, but many are blasting the hospital worker, a physician's assistant who NYC Health and Hospitals Bellevue say appears to work for them. The city hospital group saying they are sorry this happened and are reviewing the incident. Civil rights attorney Ben Crump tweeting, this is unacceptable. And she grossly tried to weaponize her tears to paint this man as a threat. This is exactly the type of behavior that has endangered so many black men in the past. And they will always come to the defense of their cult members. This evidence that people are now getting on here to push to say that this white woman is innocent. No one answered at the woman's Brooklyn apartment or returned our calls for comment. This woman lives in her building. That woman lives in this building with me. Actually doesn't prove anything at all. But it does prove the lengths that some of y'all will go to to protect white women. But this neighbor says the young men could have ended up in jail or worse. It's clearly like a camera. It's wild to me how people still see black people as one of the most violent groups. When actually the most violent among us has the inability to hold their community members accountable for the ways in which they harm other people. She thinks that she's viewed as a victim because she's white. And she thinks that. That's obvious in this America that we all live in. This is exactly what I was talking about in my video. We, by default give white women the benefit of the doubt is what we're trained to do since birth. Yes, in this America that we all live in. She's a pregnant nurse coming off of a 12 hour shift. She would never. Well, what if I decided to give the black boys the benefit of the doubt? Why would a bunch of black boys steal a city bike from a white woman in a busy metropolitan area? We need to train our brains to stop seeing white women as inherently good. A baby girl come out with She's a pregnant nurse coming off of a 12 hour shift. Have you lived on this earth for, I don't know, 10 years? A baby girl come out with this is not an anomaly. <laughs> and even aside from the whole stealing of the bike, let's let's put that let's put that in the back of our minds. Yes, in this America that we all live in. A baby girl come out with that white woman pretended like she was in danger by saying, help, help. Help, because she knew the privilege that she had. She knew that people hearing her cries of distress would run to her defense. And how many times has that ended in a black person's death? Yes, in this America that we all live in. A baby girl come out.